Today, I'm going to show you my absolute favorite WordPress plugin. If you have ever tried to make a WordPress website and you found it to be difficult, or if you have heard that you need to no code or hire a developer in order to have a WordPress website or to create an amazing WordPress website, please keep watching. It's just not true. Designing a gorgeous WordPress site doesn't have to be hard and it can be easy and fun when you have the right tools and know-how. Hello, I'm Rebecca from BexMarie.com and today we're talking about my favorite drag and drop page builder called Beaver Builder. This is not a video comparing different page builders. Instead, I'm just going to show you behind the scenes while I start building a page layout with Beaver Builder and I'm gonna show you how Beaver Builder works. So let's go take a look. To start using Beaver Builder, I go to the page I wanna edit and then I click the Beaver Builder in the toolbar at the top. And now you can see we are editing inside Beaver Builder. You see the beaver at the top left and you have the content panel here at the right hand side. Content can be added to the page here in this panel. You can either add a row layout or you can add a module to get started. So first what I'll do is I will add a row to the site and I just added a one column row. So that means that it will be the full width of the screen. And what I did here is I've changed the margins to have zero margins. To make a full width photo row, I'm going to add a photo module to the one column row that I already put. And again, I'm going to change the margins of the photo to zero so that it goes all the way to, from each edge to the edge without any kind of border around it. So now I've picked out my image that I want here. And as you can see, it goes all the way to the edges without any space around it. So I think that looks good. and we're just going to keep that as it is right there. And now this row is complete. Now, if you wanted this to have a text overlay, what you would do is make the photo the background of the row instead of adding a photo module. All right, so let's add another row here. So we're going to add another single column row. And I want to make sure that it goes below the top row. I'm going to make this a full width, but the content will remain fixed so it will just stay in the middle of the page and have some margins on either side. I'm going to add another photo module here, and I'm just going to select a little logo graphic. Now you can resize the image how you want it, so I'm going to choose the smaller option here just to add a little visual interest before we go into some text. Now what I can do is add a heading. And this is good for SEO because you want um, an H1 tag on every page. That is your top level heading. And then you can also have heading number two, heading number three. You can choose what type of heading that you want so you can create a nice visual hierarchy with your content. So I'm just creating an H2 heading and I'm gonna choose the colors. As you can see here, there are preset colors that I have saved to go with this site for the color palette. Now we will choose our font and we can style our text how we want it to look. And we'll go ahead and save that. One cool thing is you can really drag and drop with Beaver Builder. So you can just click and drag and adjust this to the exact width that you want it to show. All right, so now we will add a paragraph of text. So I will just paste in here from my Word document and we'll go ahead and save. Now we have our text right here. It's that easy. And if you want, you can just go ahead and format it, make it centered if you want, just edit it however you want. Let's go ahead and add another row. This one will be a two column row and I'm just going to make it so that the row is full width with fixed content and you could add a colored background if you want. So here you see again we have our saved presets to choose from or you can just type in a code, a hex code if you know it, or you can you know choose a color. You can save your color as a preset also. Plenty of settings to check out. 
let's click Save, I like that. And if we want to add another row, you can put rows um, within rows to create really cool layouts. You also have saved rows. So for this one, I had already stylized this one and saved this row. And what's cool about it is it just has, you know, some kind of mixed up fonts. So this was a little bit complicated how I set this up, but then once you get it looking how you like, what you can do is save that row so that you always have it and then just um, edit it as you need and then save it. It's a good little shortcut. All right, so let's go ahead and add some more text to the page. Paste it right in here. And you might need to format a little bit to make it look how you want. And we'll click Save. Now, um, let's add a photo module here. Again, we just select our photo, pick it out from our media library. So these are images that I had already uploaded, but you could always just drag and drop an image in there to upload it. In here, there are a few different style options. So it's kind of neat if you didn't already crop your image to the exact uh, shape that you want, you could crop it to a circle, crop it to a square. So here I just cropped that one to a square. And now I'm gonna add another photo. Remember to add your alternate text. This is what helps people with disabilities. If they're visually impaired, they can use a screen reader. Another time-saving trick is the ability to duplicate. So you could duplicate this heading, drag it and drop it down here, and then just edit it. So once you have something the way you like, you can easily just copy and edit. Now we can just add some more text here. You can see how quickly a page layout really comes together. All right, so now let's crop this image into a square as well. We can adjust the margins for each module to create a little bit more visual space. And that looks really good. Beaver Builder makes designing websites so much fun. All right, so let's add another row. And we'll just stick it right down here. And I do this with almost every row. I make it full width. Alrighty. Let's put um, three columns below that one. And you know, you can add another row if you want. It's so flexible. You can just do so many different layout options. It's really endless. And if you want, you can easily just delete something if you don't want it. You can drag and drop things around. Another thing is you can resize things dynamically just by clicking on these little handles and dragging them. As you can see, you know, I, you can just duplicate things and change things, edit, move, rearrange. And it, like I said, the possibilities are really endless. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. Um, you can definitely feel free to check out Beaver Builder. I will put a link in the description below so you can really check it out and play with it yourself. It is a lot of fun. And ever since I started designing with Beaver Builder, I will never go back to not using it. Um, another option, if you are interested in checking that out besides Beaver Builder, um, an alternative option would be Elementor. I personally have not used it, but a lot of web designers say that it's really great. So um, that's an option too. But, you know, like I said, I love Beaver Builder. I use it. I teach it in my online course, Create, Launch, and Flourish. And I hope that you'll check it out and use it for yourself to design your own website. I hope this was helpful. If you want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Turn on the notifications by clicking the little bell. And I would love it if you would leave a comment below. Have you ever used a page builder? Have you used Beaver Builder? Have you used Elementor? 
Let me know in the comments which ones you have tried and what your experience was. I know I have used others in the past, like Visual Composer and things like that, Divi, and I've really not liked them. So like I said, when I found Beaver Builder, that was it for me. If this video was helpful for you, give me a thumbs up on this video and leave a comment below and let me know what do you want me to teach you next. Check out my other videos if you want to learn more about Beaver Builder or if you are ready to get started building your own website. All right, bye now.